All right, so my name is Brendan Rooney. My partner for this project was Thomas Scott. However, he's not able to be here with me when recording today, so I'll be doing it all on my own. Today I'm explaining the traffic signal controller that was created on Tinkercad. So over off to the left here, I'm going to get the simulator started, and you will see that I have set up the north and the south traffic lights, as well as our east and our west over here. The north and south are running in the same functions. You'll see here that traffic light north-south is pin 6, 7, and 8, because whenever our north is going to be on, it's going to be the exact same function as the south. As well on our breadboard, we have our pedestrian lights here. Here's our override switch, the emergency override, the button, sorry. And here is our pedestrian buttons. And over here, we have all of our pins being used. So these are going to over to our lights and our buttons and the buttons are over to our ground. So here I'm gonna press the pedestrian button and you'll see how the pedestrian light turns on whilst the east and west greens are on and the other ones are red. So that'll run for a bit of time and that'll turn off. So I'm gonna let that run in the background here while we just go into more of the code. So the first thing here is we have our data structure at the top. Now what the data structure is, this is what's gonna come in handy when we're printing out. So we're gonna reference this later on in the program. Here for our pins and interrupts, we have our 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 3, 4, 5. So this is for our east, our west, and our north-south. Now later on, we'll be using the serial monitor. So we've got our stuff for our pedestrian crosswalk. Here is where most of the things are happening. So in here, we state if the millis is equal to, or is greater than or equal to 33,000, and it's uh, lower than or equal to 50,000, as well as greater than or equal to 83,000, and less than or equal to 100,000, then it's going to run these activate traffic light commands. So what this represents is we'll see here that 100 means green, yellow, red, or green is on, yellow is off, and red is off. Now, if we want to go back here, we haven't used the override button yet. So I'm going to press this override button in a second here. And what that's going to do is that it's going to set our east to green whilst everything else is on red, but it did go to yellow first, which is very important. So now going back over here, so all these are the same syntax for 010 and 001, so zero being low and one being high or off and on. Now, throughout here we have the button state, which is the digital read of pin 12, which is our buttons for our pedestrians. The other parts we have going on here is this is when it's our serial print, so at the end of the day, which we see just happened actually. That printed out the one time we pressed the crosswalk at the time period, and the one we pressed the override at the time period. And this was all from this here. So what this is saying is at a certain time or the end of the day, which represents our midnight, it's going to print out total crosswalks, start a new line, print out, and then have the time of it, and then print out total overrides as well as the time of that. We have this is the main control for whether the lights are going to be on and off, so using these commands. And then here comes the final void, which is the emergency override. So this is saying once the button is pressed, it's going to change the uh, north-south yellow on and the west yellow on, as well as the east is going to go green, so we're not skipping the yellow. And then they go to red and our east is going to go to green. So that is the main portion of the program. Hopefully that was well understood and taken and have a good day. Thank you.